God made you as his masterpiece, you were made to become a model that the world should learn from. When you continue to allow yourself to be an imitator, the best you can become is something similar or identical to what or who you are copying from. The world has no need for emulators, and even if the world needs a copycat, you are too unique to become that copycat. Let me direct your attention to the words of the Lord in the Old Testament, right here in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. The Bible says, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Do you really understand what this scripture means? God created man after he had finished creating everything else in the world. This was a great honor and favor to man. God created every other being with the words of his mouth. But when he got to the creation of man, he used the dust of the earth, and then he breathed upon man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Jesus, God did not make you with his words. You were so unique that he made you in a distinct way, much more different from how he created everything else. To create man, God had to combine heaven and earth because man is truly unique. It is only man that God put together of flesh and a spirit so that man can truly and expressly glorify God. God was creating the universe and all that is in it alone. But then when he wanted to create man, he knew that man was radically distinctive and not equal to any of the other things he had made. So he said, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit had to come together to make man. We are to glorify God, because we were baptized into that great name, and we owe our being to God alone. Then in Genesis chapter 1 verse 31, after God had finished with his creation, he concluded, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Everything, including you and me, was not born by chance. God has great plans for you, and he made you unique from every other being, so that you could fulfill his plans for your life. When you tend to copy other people, you may not become what God has intended you to be. You may just end up as the inferior version of who you copy. By copying others, you will forever continue to get close, but you will never get ahead of anyone. You're helping yourself to lose your identity when you allow yourself to copy other people. Dearly beloved, you have more than what the person you are copying has to offer. Please stay true to yourself because an original will be forever worth more than the photocopy of anything. You were not made to be small. You were not made to compare yourself with anyone. God did not make you to judge yourself, try to fit into someone else's profile, or even be perfect. God made you to be you because you are much unique and unequal to any other person or being on planet Earth. G. Be true to yourself. Value your core identity Never attempt to go out of your way for someone else. Always stand out so that you will never blend into any crowd. Being in this world does not mean you have to become like the world. The world should not make you. Rather, you should make things happen in the world. It is very wrong for you to allow society to put a mark on you because you have within you all it takes to put great marks on society. And guess what? Originality is the key to making a great impact in this world. Copying can only help you to blend into the world, but it will never allow you to make a meaningful impact in the world. Do you know why you should not copy others? Well, the major reason why you should not copy other people is because God made you unique in your own ways, and you will never live up to your full degree of uniqueness if you continue copying others.
The best you can become is the photocopy of who you are copying. The world needs to learn from you. That is why you are not allowed to copy from anybody. Originals are worth more than second-hand copies and you are the original creation of God. So why do you keep allowing yourself to become a photocopy of the world? But you are to be unique. Because being unique makes it easier for you to show your true self to the world. Being unique makes you feel good about yourself because you know what it is that makes you unique and you embrace it. If you do not embrace your uniqueness, people will never be attracted to you. Every one of us has unique characteristics that make us distinct from every other person. We all have abilities that make us stand apart from everybody. Being unique means that you are extremely one of a kind and that nobody can be compared with you. We are all unique human beings in different ways. None of us were created in the same way. Even our eye colors differ. And even when someone has gray eyes, they will never be the same shade. Every one of us has intelligence. Some people may have more than others. It is no doubt that some people have extremely high IQs, while others are ingenious. We ought to know who we are and learn to appreciate our unique abilities. Some people may laugh at your uniqueness, probably claiming that you are so different from every other person. Well, you do not have to feel bad about that. Rather, you should laugh at them because they are all the same. Every day of your life should be the day you decide to stand strong in the beauty of who you are. You need to understand that you are so unique and that unique people do not flow with the tide. A kite rises high against the wind, not with it. You can be changed by what happens to you, but never allow yourself to be reduced by what happens to you. Beauty means to be yourself. You are not beautiful because you have your face covered in makeup. To be beautiful means to know your worth and to simply be yourself. You are what you need to become better than every other person. You should be your own teacher. The truth you are looking for is inside of you. Search yourself so that you can discover the hidden truth you have been searching for. Look inside and not outside. The most important thing you need to become better is to know your unique characteristics. You are one of a kind. God made you in his own image, after his very likeness. There are many special things in you that no other average person can ever have. Being unique does not have any negative connotations in mind. You are very unique. Never degrade yourself by trying to copy someone else. Nobody in this world has experienced what you have gone through. Nobody can think like you. Nobody can talk like you. Nobody has that combination of feelings you have. All these unique abilities and perspectives make you stand out. And expressing yourself for who you are is the best way to prove your uniqueness to the world. Let me also direct us to what God says concerning us in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 and 14. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. God has made us really unique. And it is high time we begin to change the world so that we can make the world a better place. You are unique. Don't let the world make you a photocopy. The world ought to learn from you to become a better version. You have what the world needs. Never limit yourself because God did not make you a limited edition of who you are. You are valid, you are cherished, you are loved. Never succumb to the world. You are worth more than the world. Finally, this is who God says you are. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 This is how unique you are. God bless you, and we hope you will radiate your uniqueness even to the ends of the earth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another great opportunity to give you praise and to worship your holy name. Words cannot express the gratitude in my heart to thank you for allowing us to be among the living today. 
You are our rock and our salvation. You are more than enough for us and our families. Thank you for your love that you continue to shower upon us. We pray that you will continue to bless us, strengthen us, heal us, and keep us under the shadow of your wings forever and ever. Amen. Dear God, we ask that you will remind us every day of our lives that your ways are not our ways. Please guide us along the straight path and lead us in your path of righteousness. Please, dear God, do not allow our feet to slip. Thank you, dear Lord, for your constant encouragement and support to us even in our darkest moments. Dear God, we thank you for your amazing love that we enjoy every minute of our lives. Thank you because you have freely given us the water from the mighty river that is flowing. Thank you because we continue to enjoy your unmerited favor and mercy. Please help us to be in your path of love and grace. Help us never to neglect the gathering of believers. Help us to respect the discipline we need to meet with you every day of our lives and to continue to drink from your water of life. Thank you, dear God, for your sweet love that you shower upon us. Please grant us the composure to accept the things that we cannot change. Grant us the courage to change the things we can and give us your wisdom to be able to differentiate between them. Dear God, we pray that you will help us to take one day at a time, help us to enjoy one moment at a time, help us to understand that difficulties are the path to peace, help us to see the world as Jesus did, not as we would want it to be, help us to trust that you can provide all things right for us, and help us to surrender our wills to you alone so that we can live reasonably in this world and be forever happy in your kingdom. Dear God, we confess that we do not know what is bound to happen in our lives. We ask that you will guide us in the journey of our lives. We do not really know ourselves, and the fact that we claim we are following your will does not really mean we are following your will. Lord, we know that our desire to please you makes you happy. We pray that you will help us to make you happy. Help us not to do anything outside our desires to please you. Please lead us in your right direction, even when we do not know where we are going. God, we will forever continue to trust in you. Even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, because we know that you are with us. Thank you, dear God, because you are forever with us and because you will never allow us to face our challenges alone. Lord, we surrender every minute of this year into your able hands. Help us to keep you in our minds every moment of our waking hours. Dear God, we stand before you today and we ask that you will grant us strength to go through every day of our lives. Lord, we confess that it is your will that we live for. Thank you, dear Lord for your everlasting presence and love in and upon our lives. Dear God, when we feel weary and confused about our lives, help us to understand that you are with us. Help us to stop trying to outrun our pains, but rather help us to run with endurance the race that you have set before us. We confess that nothing in this world will be able to separate us from your love. We ask that you will give us a measure of your love today. Give us the grace and strength to endure the trials that await us each new day. Dear God, we pray that you will make us an instrument in your vineyard because you are our shepherd, dear God. We confess that we will want nothing. Our dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you will uphold your righteousness in us, bring in your kingdom, so that your will can be done in our lives. We ask that you will give us our daily bread and forgive us for all the ways we have wronged you. Please, dear God, deliver us from temptations and rescue us from evil. Dear God, we pray that you will help us to grow in faith and help us to forever trust in your capability. We pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide us so that we be able to live our lives trusting in God and also relying on the Word of God for our lives. Dear Father, we pray that you will help those of us who are not trusting in you. Please help us to focus only on you. And we ask that you will forgive us for not making you our priority. Lord, I thank you because I'm relevant in your kingdom. You, God, made us all unique. 
Lord, please let me be the change that the world needs. Use me for the world. Let me be the salt that will sweeten this world. And let me be the light that will shine. Jumps. The world is awaiting my manifestation. Please help me to show forth your power to the world. I pray for every believer worldwide. Let them rise by your power and put an end to evil in this world. Amen. Dear God, we come to you seeking your strength and your guidance. Help us to see the unique characteristics and talents that you have given to us. Help us to see our uniqueness so that we can value ourselves as much as you love and value us. Whenever we feel weak and vulnerable, please help us to remember that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. Whenever we feel doubtful of your love, or even when self-talk tries to creep into our hearts, please help us to remember all your good plans for our lives. We pray that you will strengthen us to overcome every obstacle in our path. And we pray that you will grant us confidence to face every day of our lives with a positive mindset. Lord, we praise you because we know that you are working on our behalf to make everything work together for our good. Dear God, we come to you seeking your acceptance. We pray that you will help us to love ourselves and see ourselves as you do. Help us to understand that we are your unique and very beautiful creations and that we are worthy of respect and love. When we cannot help but compare ourselves with other people, please help us to remember that our identity is not caught up with others. Remind us that you see us as we truly are. Please make us to be more like Jesus and help us to trust in you at all times. Father, we pray that you will influence every one of our decisions. You are our pillar of support. We pray that you will support us throughout our lives by giving us your capacity. We pray that you will back all our decisions and grant us your wisdom to avoid any negative occurrence in our time of need. Thank you, Lord, for your presence that graces our lives. We pray that your Spirit will find expression in our lives. We know that sin can grieve your Holy Spirit. So we pray that you will help us to overcome the temptations of sin. Help us to desire your presence more than we desire sin. Help us to grow in the fruit of your Spirit and help please guide us every day of our lives. Let your will and your promises be a meditation in our hearts. Dear Father, we pray that you will help us to see the uniqueness of our lives. Help us to love the life we are living today. Show us the good things we often overlook in our lives. Help us to be content with the life you have given to us. Forgive us when we compare ourselves with other people. Forgive us for desiring things outside your kingdom and outside your will for our lives. Thank you for loving us as we are. Help us to keep our eyes on you always. Father, we ask that you will help us to love ourselves for who you have made us to be. Please help us to discover the things in us that make us unique. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for the crown of joy that awaits us in heaven. Thank you for answering our prayers, for it is in Jesus' most loving name we have prayed. Amen. We hope you had an exciting time with us. We love you and hope to see you at the top. Please let us know how you feel about this message by leaving us a comment. You can also tell us about your unique abilities. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this video. Please share the video so more people can realize that they are more unique than they think they are. But God bless you. We hope you begin to walk in the uniqueness of all that God has freely given to you.